Here's Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. Have you ever heard yourself saying, no, you can't go outside, no, you can't have a cookie, no, you can't use the telephone, and no, you can't go to Susie's house? No, 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 no. How many times each day do we use that small but powerful word with our children? Now, as parents, we could say yes to most routine requests made by our kids, but we often choose almost automatically to respond in the negative. Why? Why do we do that? because we don't want to take the time to stop and think about the consequences, and because the activity could cause us more work, more physical effort, and because there might be danger in the request, and because we know our children are going to ask for a million favors every day anyway, and it's just more convenient to refuse them all. Now, it's true that every child needs to be acquainted with denial of some of his or her more extravagant wishes, but we must not fall into the habit of turning down reasonable requests from our kids. There are just so many no's in life anyway that we should say yes whenever we can. It's also a good idea to ask ourselves, how do my children view me? As a negative person who delights in making kids miserable and taking all the fun out of life? Or do they believe that we genuinely care about them? Well, one way to draw our children to us is to say yes unless there's a very good reason to do otherwise. Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk.